Thank you for tuning in to Rap Palette with another news update. As I was reported earlier, King Von was shot, but we just got the info he did not survive his in- injuries. He did not survive his injuries. King Von's best friend and producer confirms the rapper has died following a shootout with Quando's Rondo crew. King Von is reportedly dead following a shootout from Quando Rondo's crew as confirmed by his best friend and producer DJ on the beat. This morning, rumors started to circulate about the shooting that happened outside of Atlanta nightclub involving King Von and Quando Rondo. Two people were confirmed had died. Old Block Louie and Old Block Slutty. One of them is his brother. The other one is his friend. One person was reportedly in critical condition, which was King Von, and he was in the hospital. DJ on the beat confirmed that King Von did not survive his injuries. Um, And he stated... My heart can't take this. No, bro. Why you? Why, bro? Wrote the producer. Please FaceTime me, bro. Why they had to take you? I'm going to see you again. This ish ain't over. It's far from over. We still just getting started. RP, my best friend. The only end to listen to me word for word from day one. We sat on FaceTime hours making songs together. Each bar had a meaning and song. We live on the soul every moment meant to grow with and made me feel like I was real producer. I love you, bro. King Von. King Von will be missed tremendously in the hip-hop community and will be remembered as the most authentic storyteller modern rap. If you are not familiar with him, read more about Little Dirk Affiliate, rapper here, and his condolence goes out to his family and all his friends. Now, I want you to take a second and I'm going to tell you something. R.P. to F.B.G. Duck. RP to, FB, RP to all the people who are lost in this foolish gang wars. That's what it is. Gang wars. Now, mind you, I'm going to pray for Vaughn and I hope he's doing okay. But let's not forget something. And I'm, I don't want to play devil's advocate. These guys were saying they were smoking on Tuca and Scrap. Did not did that say that? Dead homies. You reap what you sow. The energy you put out, you get back. It's the law of nature. It's God's will. I'm not trying to preach. It hurts me to say this, but you had to expect something like this was coming. These were the most gangsterous dudes in Chicago. You go to Georgia, there's guys that are even twice as gangster. Yeah, they might be country, but these guys are shooters as well. People remember you come from a hood that is notorious. There's millions of hoods that are notorious. But the thing about it is, I think about FBG Duck, um, MOB Scrap, MOB Bebe, um, you know, FBG Brick. You know what I mean? Um, th- these guys are talking about new op packs. I don't understand what that is. You know what I mean? Let's get this gang culture from away from us so we can. Get this, I'm talking about he was a multi-millionaire, he's not here with us no more. He can't even enjoy it. His friends, his family, and his son. I'm going to pray for King Vaughn, I'm going to pray for Oblock Louie, Oblock Slutty, and I'm going to pray for the other side as well. I don't gangbang. I have no allegiance to no one but God. Like and subscribe and share the video.